morning. It's Wednesday, January 20th, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Resetting the Compass. And our scripture is Micah, chapter 6. Listen to what the Lord is saying. Stand up and state your case against me. Let the mountains and hills be called to witness your complaints. And now, O mountains, listen to the Lord's complaint. He has a case against his people. He will bring charges against Israel. O my people, what have I done to you? What have I done to make you tired of me? Answer me, for I brought you out of Egypt and redeemed you from slavery. I sent Moses, Aaron, and Miriam to help you. Don't you remember, my people, how King Balak of Moab tried to have you cursed, and how Balaam, son of Baor, blessed you instead? And remember your journey from Acacia Grove to Gilgal, when I, the Lord, did everything I could to teach you about my faithfulness. What can we bring to the Lord? Should we bring him burnt offerings? Should we bow before God Most High with offerings of yearly calves? Should we offer him thousands of rams and ten thousand rivers of olive oil? Should we sacrifice our firstborn children to pay for our sins? No, O people, the Lord has told you what is good, and this is what he requires of you, to do what is right, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. The prophet speaks a word from heaven's courts to Israel, particularly Jerusalem, about their failure to honor the blessings they had received by God's mercy and miraculous leading from the time they left the bondage of being Pharaoh's slaves in Egypt until they were given Canaan land as God's promise of continued blessing. At every step, God had blessed, and in the end, Jerusalem fell into lip service instead of genuine worship. They offered sacrifices of bulls and rams by the herd, but with their lives they ignored the weightier issue of living life in full dedication to God's will. Three hundred years prior, Israel's chronicler recorded the nation's responsibility for resetting their national compass, Second Chronicles chapter 7, Then if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and restore their land. Now, as a last-ditch offer of mercy, the Lord, through the prophet Micah, reminds Israel of their covenant requirements. It was time to reset the national compass. Today is Inauguration Day in America for the Presidency of our nation. It is a quadrennial occurrence of a supposedly peaceful transfer of power from an outgoing administration's chief to the next. To this moment, it has been anything but serene and reassuring. It's been more than a rocky road, it's been a war zone complete with storming the halls of government. Inauguration speeches by a new leader traditionally carry hope for the future and a call to unselfish patriotism with humility towards one another. It's my fervent wish that this transition of power, however uncertain to this point, will teach us the lesson we need to learn. God is not mocked. Whatever we have been sowing, both nationally as a people and personally in our lives, we will continue to reap. Toward that end, let us remember that doing what is right, not party affiliation and power, but righteousness and justice with humility before God and with each other, is our only hope of living out what it is going to take to have our land healed of its divisiveness and anger. There is no other way for any nation under God. For you today. If there's anger in your inner being, it must be rooted out. This is what children of God do. And the way to begin the rooting out of anger is to confess it in prayer and then resolve to act towards all as Abraham Lincoln spoke to a nation suffering the division of civil war with malice toward none, with charity for all, with firmness in the right as God gives us to see the right, Let us strive on to finish the work we are in, to bind up the nation's wounds. 
You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.